Hello, my name is Alexander and today I'm going to show you how easy it is to use best proxy and VPN services with XRumor version 7. So let's go ahead and get started. We're going to go to the folder where we have our XRumor software and make sure that XRumor is completely closed. It's not running anywhere in the background. And before we get started, we have to delete this file. It is very important. The file's name is xproxy underscore state dot bin, B -I -N. So we're going to go ahead and delete it first. And once it's done, we're going to go back to best proxy and VPN. And once you are logged in, under your username and password you should be able to see the similar screen with list of proxies. We're gonna choose one of the proxies in that list so for example I'm gonna go ahead and use this one right here I'll copy it. Now since we're using those best, VPN, best proxy and VPN services are providing private proxies so you have to use login and password before you can use those proxies and here is the pattern that I have for XRumor to use you have to use this pattern in order for private proxies to work with XRumor so first you have to enter login which is the username that you use to log in to best proxy and VPN website I'm going to go ahead and type my username. Then you have to use a password, which is exactly the same password that you use to log in to Best Proxy and VPN website. Okay, and make sure you're also separating username and password by this colon right here it is very important otherwise it's not gonna work once you entered your username and password you have to enter this at sign and then you have to enter host which is the proxy address colon port like that then once it's done, just copy this whole line, then go back to the folder where you have your XRumor and pull up this file, which is xproxy.txt file right here. And I already have a few proxies here, so I'm going to go ahead and go ahead and delete them so we can start fresh. okay now we have clean file and on the first line I'm going to go ahead and paste what we got by using the template alright and let's say if you're using more than just one proxy I'm going to go ahead and do a second second one just to show you how to use more than just one proxy with XRumor so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back to our control panel with at best VP, best excuse me best proxy and VPN we're gonna log in into our control panel and just copy the second proxy we'll go back to our pattern okay and then we will change this already used proxy address and port to, to our new proxy address and port then we will copy the whole line and again the same username and password that you use to log into best proxy and VPN services or website okay we'll go back to our xproxy.txt file and we'll just paste it on paste it on the second line that's how we use more than one proxy for xrumor and we'll have to save it once it's saved, we'll go back to XRumor and we'll bring it up 
will execute the software. And once it's up and running, you will most likely have it as this tab, as a default, which is Links Database tab. You will have to go to Anonymity tab and already have it checked here but you will have it like this unchecked with this little option here use proxy so put the check mark on it and then click OK I would recommend close XRumor and as you can see it, it created it generated that X proxy underscore state BIN state dot BIN file so once you close the XRumor it automatically generates this file Please reopen the XRumor. And once XRumor is running, you're good to go using XRumor with private proxies. Thanks for watching.